at the entrance of downtown Curacao. We're going to haul the boat today and do a little work on the props. And this is really cool. The waterfront looks very European. There's old forts and that sort of thing. <clears throat> and there's a swing bridge here, the only one in the Caribbean. So we're going to call them and they're going to swing the bridge open for us so we can get into the main harbor. I know what to say. How about Willemstead Swing Bridge? Queen Emma Floating Pontoon Bridge? That's a mouthful. Queen Emma Swing Bridge. This is the sailing catamaran Happy Together standing by on the outside awaiting your next convenient opening. That was the easiest thing ever. Yeah, he said, okay, 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 stand by. No. Yeah, it's like he's going to shut down the town and the walking bridge to get us through. I was waiting for radio call signs and... Where are you going? Where are you going? What's your business here? How many Cuban cigars on board? Right. This is the Queen Anne floating pontoon bridge in Willemstead, Curacao, between the two sides. And then behind it is a huge bridge to get under, to get into the whole port. Okay, so now the guy has stopped some of the traffic, but not all of it, which is interesting. So some people are still on it. He just stopped the side where it swings and it's swinging open. And there's the bridge with people on it, just <laughs> swinging away. Pretty crazy. got the boat finally out of the water. It took four hours because they were lifting it up on the cradle. So it was four o'clock. It was too late for the mechanics to do anything. So then we had to run around and clear customs and immigration, which in Curacao are on either side of the city. And so you got to go over a huge sky bridge and, and it was complicated. But they didn't want to clear us out because they usually want to do it the day you're leaving. But we want to clear out for tomorrow, but we're going to spend tomorrow night in Anchorage in Curacao and head to Aruba in the morning on Wednesday. So they said, you're going to have to come back. And we said, we can't come back because they're going to clear, they're going to, you know, finish the boat, put us in the water, and then we're out the door. So we finally got that all sorted out. <coughs> and then tonight we're staying in a hotel downtown so that we could, um, because the boat's out of the water and all that. Tomorrow. So that worked out pretty good. We went to dinner and stopped by the casino here at the Renaissance Hotel in Curacao, and we put in 80 bucks and won 500 instantly. So we decided not to press our luck and turn in for the night. We needed that. We needed that. It paid for our hotel room, our dinner, dinner. breakfast. Not the yard. <clears throat> not the yard bill. Nope. That's not going to cover it. We're going to have to hit it hard in Aruba. <laughs> So this service is about the fact that we got uh, salt water in our sail drive. And you can tell when that happens because the oil, when you check the dipstick on the sail drive, the oil turns white. That's what uh, salt water looks like when it gets in the sail drive. And there's no real, uh, they don't really know how it happened, but the only thing to do is to haul the boat, take the props off, and take out the gears to the sail drive, and put new seals on, and then refill with oil. So this should be a quick service this morning and then put the boat back in the water. 
So now the sail drive's got the new um, seals in it. There's seals inside here and inside here, and it's refilled with oil. And now we're installing the zincs on the folding props. So Lenny's been out provisioning, and we got lucky. Six bottles of Whispering Angel and Curacao, and we are out. Awesome wine store. So after rushing around all morning, and going to Budget Marine three times, and the electronics store twice, twice. the grocery store. Wine store. Yeah, we killed it at the wine store. Yeah. Anyway, now they're about ready to put the boat in the water, and we're gonna get organized here and head off to Aruba. Woo! Woo! Yeah. because the wind was blown out of the west the, few, the last few days, there's a swell that's actually rolling right into the anchorage. So we anchored for about an hour. We were gonna make dinner, get ready, and leave at four in the morning for Aruba. <clears throat> and that's not gonna work. So Lenny and I decided the best thing to do is just to get out of here tonight, and we'll raise the sails and head to um, Aruba. But I am bummed that we bought six bottles of rosé and I was expecting to anchor here and watch the sunset and have a rosé time. But as usual, the weather dictates what you do. So Lenny's got the anchor up and everything's secured. We just secured the dinghy. <clears throat> when you go offshore, there's certain things. We have a little checklist of what to do. Um, so we're gonna go through that now. So we'll be off camera for a few minutes getting organized. that anchorage we headed offshore for um, Aruba and because we're getting a little more comfortable with the whole nighttime crossing and everything um, it was like no big deal we uh, the boats ready to go offshore we've got our gear provisions so it was kind of cool to pull into an anchorage decide it was no good and decide you're just gonna go spend the night in the ocean we've got 12 knots of wind sails are up the boats moving along great at about eight knots I'm actually trying to slow it down, not speed it up, because we don't want to get there too soon. And uh, it's really cool. There's ships all over, and it's just a beautiful night in the ocean. No moon tonight. How's it going in here? That's good. Dinner's good. I'm going to turn off the lights so you can see better outside. Okay. Okay, we had a beautiful crossing over from Curacao. It took us about seven hours and now it is 2 30 in the morning and we were taking turns uh, sleeping a little bit but we are heading into the harbor at Aruba which is called Port Control and they told us that we could come in and drop anchor it is um, there's a lot of light just from the city here and we can see there's some sailboats anchored here from the airport and we're gonna try to get uh, in and get the anchor down and get some shut-eye before we head to customs at 8 a.m. Woke up this morning after going to bed at 3, arriving Aruba, and we just had breakfast, and now I wanna show you the anchorage, which is really cool. just anchored here in front of the airport and uh, now we got to go up to customs and immigration
say last night. Yeah. We, we had it all chilled already. We got skunked. Or we got skunked on the anchorage, had to put it away. But we sailed over to Aruba and we spent the day doing some sightseeing and checking in and getting the marina sorted out. And it's awesome because the shore power works here. So yes. and there's a Starbucks. Yep. Right there. Right there. And a Gucci right there. And a casino there and there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it's exciting to be in Aruba. We're a long way from Florida. We've seen a lot, done a lot. But uh, but this is really cool. So cheers from Aruba. It's a beautiful day, the cruise ships are here. And uh, I'm up once again working on the camera on the mast because the fittings weren't sealed correctly. Water got in, shorted them out, and the RG6 cable isn't correct. So I gotta do a new fitting on here to try to get this thing to work. Kinda not my expertise, but I'm gonna give it a, give it a try. It's Randy had the flu. He's not been good. So we went to the doctor. She gave him a prescription. It was very efficient. And now we're at, what's it called? Medic. And we're filling a prescription. No drama. It's been very nice. I wouldn't call it a flu. I'd call it a severe cold. <laughs> but it has been a pain in the ass. And my doctor was Dutch. And quite a good looking woman. So. <laughs> so we have been working on the boat all day. We didn't video at all. But it was. You do dumb on the mask. Yeah, but it was all day working on the boat, cleaning the boat, cleaning engine rooms, whatever. And now we're on the north end of Aruba where all the hotels are. And we're at Mambo Beach. And I know a lot of people hate this commercial tourism, senior frogs and everything. But after a year and a half of islands, we're loving it. It's kind of fun. A lot of people, a lot of action. But we're having a great night. Cheers. So now we're off to do some sightseeing. It's Look, they don't want you to walk over it. Yeah, no, probably wouldn't. So there, there's a sign saying don't walk over it because there's another one of these here that collapsed. So. We're gonna heed the warning, but I really do want to run over it really quick. So apparently that's an old gold uh, mill, factory, whatever you call it. And they discovered gold on this island in 1820 or 30, and they mined three million pounds of it. I'm checking around these rocks, I don't see any more. They built it right into the rock. This is all natural right here. They didn't put those there. They built into the <clears throat> into the formation. That's a strong one. <laughs> You spin me right round, baby, right round Like a record, baby, right round, round, round You spin me right round, baby, right round Like a record, baby, right round, round, round Holy cow! That was nine, that was nine flights of stairs relatively quickly.
But he's so excited. We tried to follow the rules and now we're booted. So we just picked up four bags of laundry and it was the grand total of $38. 38 American dollars. 38 US dollars. And I'm sitting here going, why? Why do we have a washer and dryer? <laughs> well, first of all, do you know how many loads you would have had to do? That was really and a burning good, water. It's really a good deal, other than the car getting booted. Yeah. So that was fail. That cost forty-three dollars. So that adds to the laundry cost. Yeah. So anyway, of course our washer and dryer is broken right now. Anyway, we're waiting for a part to be imported. We need that. So we're diving two airplane wrecks today in Aruba. And we're with Clive of Dive Aruba. night in Aruba. We did a lot of work today. We did and a lot. We, dove. we did two major dives. Major dives and cleaned the whole boat. Yeah, I mean we I, I swam through airplanes. Yeah. So anyway, but we've had four great days in um, Aruba. It's a really cool fun island to play on. And we've done it so we're ready to go. Yeah. And if we have to come back and hang out we will do that too. Yeah next time we come back we'll be heading to Colombia. So we're here in Delray tonight, which is Lenny's in my hometown with Owen Roberts. And Owen is one of the first people that ever contacted me about buying a Leopard 48. And he is two years from retirement, one and a half years, but his boat is on order. Indeed. And we had dinner tonight and it's a great time and we like to meet Leopard friends. Thank you, Randy and Lady. Fantastic to meet you guys. 